Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are starting a new month, so that means new products. And I'm really excited for this collection because it's been out for a little bit and I really love this brand. I don't know why I was holding out on actually purchasing these products. They looked really intriguing, I was really interested in them, and I guess I was just waiting for some reviews to come out on them. So I watched a couple of reviews and I'm, I was sold. I mean, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't have a video for it today. Regardless, we are going to be reviewing the M Cosmetics, the So Soft collection. So I picked up two of the bronzers and two of the blushes. There are six shades of the blush and then there are four shades of the bronzer. I only picked up two of each just because they are a little bit pricey and I didn't want to be stuck with like 10 products that I may or may not like. And I've also got their newest highlight to tribute. So before we get started, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we'll get going. All right, so I did go ahead and do like my base concealer and powder it under my eyes. I did go ahead and prime my eyelids and my eyebrows because I do want to do a look with you guys today. But we are going to start with our M Cosmetics So Soft collection. So my products did come with these little card information infomercial type things. I'm just going to read a little bit for you. They are formulated with our Satin Cloud Complex. It's a unique blend of rich powders and emollients that create a, a luxurious air whipped mousse like texture. It's enriched with squalene and vitamin E to help condition skin and provide antioxidant defense. And they are cruelty free and gluten free. I will put one of the cards like up on a picture for you guys that way you can read a little bit more and like I said there were there are six blushes and four bronzers so I'm gonna dive into the bronzers to begin with I purchased the say the shade summer and the shade Terra so they just come in this little round tube and I think that's a pretty decent amount of product I mean that's as far as it rolls up this is the shade Summer and it is very mousse like. It is super soft. The top shade is the shade Terra. It too is super soft. Obviously, it's the same formula. But so this one is kind of going to be my Marc Contour shade, where a Summer is going to be the more like bronzy tone shade. But for today, I do plan on kind of mixing them. So the review that I watched that really like pushed me over the edge to actually purchase these was from Julia Adams and she had to go, like go through a little bit of process on how the best way to apply them and I'm kind of gonna do it the same way she did just because it worked out the best way for her where if you apply it directly to your face it's too much there's like because they're so soft of a formula too much product is being applied to your skin and then she thought maybe using a brush to get it from the like doing it this way that too is too much product. So the best way she found was to like roll it up a little bit and just like take the corner, not the corner, it's around, like the edge of it and just take the slightest amount of product. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am going to do the summer shade on my right side first. I guess we'll start with that. And then I'm just taking an angled Luxie brush and we're going to blend. So that technique is not really working for me. The first line picked up my foundation, which isn't great. And then the second line just doesn't look great. So I am going to try it this way. And do a more stamping motion and see if that works a little bit better. Yeah, I think that way works better for me. I'm not gonna do too much because we are going to layer it with the Terra shade. Now I have a clean angled brush, different one, and I'm gonna just do the brush technique for the left side of my face. Now Terra is the, the darker one, so it's more of a contour. So I'm going to really try to focus it a little bit more towards the back rather than bringing it forward like I did with the bronzer shade, but holy cow, like, talk about contour, whew! Okay, 
but that blends out super nicely. It looks harsh because of my ring light, but in the mirror, it's blended. It's It looks really nice. I'm really happy with that. So the brush technique works perfectly for me. So I am going to go ahead and add a little bit onto the right side of my face. Oh yeah, I'm feeling sculpted. <laughs> now I'm going to go back into the summer shade so we can bronze up the left side of my face. I'm going to touch up the right side a little bit too. I definitely recommend doing the darker shade first and next time I'll do that. But I just wanted to like use both colors and demonstrate both colors. So just doing the cheeks though, I'm really impressed with this product. I don't know why applying it directly took off my foundation. I definitely recommend using the brush. But if you don't go super heavy handed into it, you don't get too much. It's gorgeous. I... I'm really happy with the left side of my face since I knew to use the brush the side turned out a little bit better but I am so happy with it and I'm really excited to continue to use it this month I have a wedding to go to soon and I think I just found the makeup I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the bronzer so I like to do some on my forehead and kind of connect it down to my temples and I'm just gonna use this shade summer to complete the bronzer I'm going to do a touch on my nose. Powdered my nose, so that probably wasn't my best idea. And then I am going to do just a little bit under my jawline. And then I'm going to use my sponge and just kind of clean up this edge a little bit. That way it doesn't go down too far. But for bronzers, holy cow, especially cream bronzers. I, I have cream bronzers, but you know, they're not always something I reach for continuously. They're like a special treat, basically. I do have more oily skin, so creams are not my favorite. I tend to use powders. I love these. My first impression, I love these. I'm really excited for the blush now. So I picked up the shade Lychee and Pearl Tea. So they're very similar. They roll up just like the bronzers do. Looks like about the same amount of product, but the bottles are pink. Where the bronzers are white. This is the shade Lychee. Looks kind of like a more brighter pop of pink. And then the top shade is Pearl Tea, which has a bit more nude tone to it. And honestly, I want to do something similar where I use one color on one cheek and the other color on the other cheek, and then we'll mix them because both shades are stunning to me. So we're going to go in with Pearl Tea, and I'm going to use my brush technique since that seemed to work a little bit better for me. Just a little bit on the brush and then apply. Is that not such a pretty blush? Oh my goodness. And then the left side of my face, we're gonna go in with lychee. Does anyone else just get the, the vibes of awesome right now? I am so thrilled. I think lychee might be my favorite. Right now I'm kind of more into the brighter pink blush look. Now we're going to go back to pearl tea and just add a little bit to the lychee side so my cheeks look a little more even. But honestly, even mixing them, they're like the mixed color is beautiful. So I am just going to go around all the edges now and blend with my beauty blender. I am just amazed. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so to keep going with the M Cosmetics theme, I did also pick up their latest highlight, which is the Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. I picked up the shade Aura. So fancy. It's got like an iridescent look to it. This is what it looks like open. So it's got a little cushion and then you open it like sideways and there's your product. Oh, just kidding. I mean, there is your product, but it's got a cover on it. Let me try to get it out. Okay, so you open it sideways and then there is your product. So I'm just going to do a little swatch because, yeah, it's squishy. Ooh. So I'm going to try it with the little pad that it came with. I think it's adorable. And I mean, most of the time what it comes with, it's not the best. But M Cosmetics is kind of a high-end brand. So I feel like the pad should work. So we're going to try it. Okay, 
looks like we got a little product and then I'm going to apply to the high points of my face. It's a more natural looking highlight to me. Like it reminds me more of my Auric Glow Lust, but I do think it's picking up a little bit of the blush as well. Let me just see what my finger does. I mean, it's super beautiful for sure. Yeah, I think it's a very more natural type of highlight, but it's beautiful. It's definitely more subtle than I was expecting, but I'm not complaining at all. I also think it works better with my finger than the sponge. And then just watch me keep applying it and keep applying it. And then all of a sudden my whole face will be this highlight. Now I'm going to go around with my sponge like I normally would. And we're just going to blend everything a little bit more. Not that I thought the highlight was standing off of my face. But I tend to just blend a little extra. So I don't want this video to do to be too short. So we are going to do an eye look together. I pulled out my Sigma Ambiance Palette. And we're just going to do a quick look together. So to begin, I'm going to start with this shade, which is called Daylily. And we're just going to take that in the crease. And on the outer third here. I'm also going to take that shade on my lower lash line. Make sure to connect it. And go about halfway. Next, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Days. And I'm just going to pack that on the rest of the lid space. It's more of a cream color. And then I'm going to take my Glodiant palette. This is actually a highlighter palette. But I want to go into these two shades on the right side just because they're too dark for me to actually wear on my face. But I want to wear them. So I'm just kind of going to mix it on my finger here, like half and half and press it onto the lid and it just kind of adds a little touch of shimmer but I think the color is mixed because it's kind of a brown and rosy shade and I think together they just they look really pretty and then to brighten up the look just a little bit we're going to go into this shade which is called Firefly and I'm just going to use my finger again and we're going to pop it right in the center all right, it didn't brighten it as much as I thought it would, but that's okay. And then to complete the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into my gradient and use the same pencil that I used to start the lower lash line. Mix these two shades here and just finish off the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go to this side of the Glodiant palette, take the lightest one and put it in the inner corner to help brighten that back up. And those are my quick eye look. So I am going to try a new mascara. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So I am going to do this off camera, but I did want to let you know we are trying a new mascara today. All right, so here is our finished look. I did go ahead and throw a lip on, but it wasn't anything new or crazy or anything like that. But let's go over the products. So again, we started with the M Cosmetics, the So Soft Collection. We tried the blushes and the bronzers. And I have to say, I am so completely wowed by them. If you like cream products, these, in my opinion, are a must because they are super easy to apply. I think the trick to them is finding out what technique works best for you. But other than that, they blend out so, so nicely. I am so thrilled that I finally pulled the plug and just bought them. And I'm really happy that I bought multiple shades. I will say... If you're into contour and bronzer, you'll definitely need both shades because summer is definitely the warmer tone where Tara is more of the cool tone bronzer shade. They're very different, so I guess it just depends on your preference on what you like. And for blush, I'm very happy that I bought two colors. One, because the formula is great, and two, because now I have two colors in the same formula that I'm really enjoying. So. It's just about options, really. And then next, we tried the Moonbeam Cushion Highlight. This is, again, in the shade Aura. And I love it. I don't think the cushion, like the little pad part, is worth anything. I wouldn't recommend using it. But I also wouldn't recommend using a brush or even your sponge, really. I think your best option is to use your finger. And I am not somebody who has ever applied highlight with my finger. 
because it's just it's a super light texture and once you dab it on it's there and then once you start to blend it turns into a more natural finish and honestly it reminds me of the auric glow lust which is also meant to be like a lit from within type glow i'm honestly impressed i think for more natural days this is what i'm going to be reaching for I think the only other new product I used was this mascara from Benefit. I'm not mad. I like Benefit mascaras. I'm very happy. I mean, this side looks really good, but I have good lashes on this side, so I'm happy with it. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't a full pack jammed month of new products for sure. We are just testing out a few at a time, and I'm good with that. I think it's more realistic to only choose a few products for per month because I don't have the budget to buy new products every week to have a full face of brand new products every month. I mean, that's not in my budget. If that's in your budget, that's great. And maybe you wanna share with me, but these are my thoughts. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video testing out the M Cosmetics So Soft Collection. You will have to let me know if you're really intrigued on picking these up or if you have already picked them up. I would love to know what your opinions are, what's your way of applying them, and how do you like the finish. Other than that though, that is all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It just helps me out and lets me know that you guys are actually enjoying the content. I'm here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.